Go ahead and step. Make sure our safety line's in place. You can see they're wearing pretty much full turnout gear at this point in time. And they're baking and shaking already. Because with that 75 pounds of equipment on their body, they're already sweating. Note the time. There's probably about five or six seconds. We've got smoke already coming out. The smoke detector's lit. If you have a basic combustibles in the room, trash can, pizza box, our mattress, a few books, a soaked floor from the night before. And you can see even with all the wet products in there, it's quickly rising the temperature in that room. That room already is probably at 450, 50, 450 degrees, which is baking temperature for most of your cookies. We're at 30 seconds in, and if you're not making your way out of that suite at this point in time, you're going to be having some problems. You can see all the, the toxic smoke, unlike the smoke that we just had in Dave Hall, is venting out of the building, and we can still smell it a little bit, but if you're in that room or in the suite, you better have made your way to the exit or started to pop low in the smoke. Right now the temperatures are starting to climb up over five, 600 degrees, even with all the water in there. And we're at one minute. One minute with all the wet paper and the wet stuff, which is freezing temperatures. The fire alarm's not going off in the building. Hopefully everybody in the building has started to make their way towards the exit doors at this point. Some of you are still in the path and going off another false fire alarm. This is where that decision comes in. Do I move towards the exits and hope that's not happening down the hall or not? You can see that the fire is so offending, even with all our wet soap. Remember that curtain is soaking wet right now and it's still going up with no hesitation. Three minutes? Oh, minute 40, I'm sorry. A minute 40, we're not even at two minutes. Even the great fire department we have in the city of Syracuse but they're staffing it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's still a 46 minute response, depending on where they're located, what the weather is, are they already on another call, and quickly, within a minute or 90 seconds, we've raised up over a thousand degrees in that room. We're just hitting the two minute mark, is that correct? Two minute mark, you can hear the crackling, and we've now gotten to the point where everything in the room is starting to take, take fire. If this heat has nowhere to travel but down the hallway, we're all in big trouble. You can see we're not even two minutes in. Even our fake door is not against the amount of heat that's coming out of that area. We are well up over 1500. Can everybody feel the heat? That's outside and we're 600 feet away. And look how fast. If you give them some space and room to work and a place to get up the stairs, they can simply come in and on any size fire very quickly with the protection of the house in the city of Syracuse Fire Department. And you can see the fire made its way in through that hallway and it was even starting to breach the door area because we were well into 1200 degrees Fahrenheit on temperature. And that's three times when you take that cookie jar. The temperature on the floor may be at least 600 degrees. From the time that we started the actual clock to the time that they put the water on the fire, how many minutes was it? Four minutes. The fire department hasn't even gotten there yet. It may take the first minute for someone to actually make that 911 call. You can see you let that raging inferno free in the building and it can go up to 90 minutes before a fire department can arrive, it can do a lot of damage and kill a lot of people along the way. That's why fire safety is so important, let alone in the state of New York, let alone at Civic University, let alone in this country. We have to realize that we put these alarms in the building, these sprinklers in the building, to try and protect our, 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 our families, our friends, and our students at all times of the day, 24 hours a day. That's why you have to understand your situational awareness. You have to be ready for anything. You have to have a plan. We are ready for the next one.